Hey guys, how you doing? Um, I have this tricolor Trandonscapia, Trandonscapia, Wandering Jew, whatever, I can't say any other word. <laughs> but she has gotten super leggy. As you can see, I mean, it, she's, first of all, it's my own fault because I didn't have a really good spot for her in highlight because they like highlight. And my bolt lily, it does the same thing. Um, so what I want to do, I was watching, I rewatched a couple of uh, Linda's videos and on her purple passion and then I was talking to her and she was telling me how to do it but as you can see I mean it's really leggy and all the leaves have dropped off through here but there are nodes on each and every one of these so what I want to try is I'm going to try a couple different experiments um, to see <laughs> if this plant is going to shape up. Um, I'm going to take my cuttings and I'm going to, we'll start over here. I'm going to do some in soil propagation and I'm going to do some in right into the soil. I'm going to put a few down in here. Um, with this plant to fill it out and then I'm going to do some in a smaller pot and I'm going to do some in water. Cheers! <laughs> but well here I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to try because each and every one of these right here were where leaves were. So there's a node right there. So Linda and I was talking, she was telling me how to do those. And what I want to do is get growth coming back from up here. So here is a node, and here is a node, and here is a node. So I think what I'm going to do is cut right here. Cut that off. Now that piece should grow, start growing some new growth, some new leaves. And then each one of these are a node. So I'm going to cut this one. Um, that's a node. I'm going to cut this one right here. So there's your bottom leaves. And then we'll take those leaves off. Leave these leaves on. And then I also want to cut this top portion. So I'm going to cut it right about right here. Because I can actually see some little roots. And then... I'll take these leaves off on the bottom. And keep these ones on. And then I'm going to cut right here. And then take that leaf off. And then cut that excess off. I don't know if I should go up. That is a no, but I think I'm going to leave it right like that. And then what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to use rooting hormone. I like my rooting hormone. And then I'm just going to take my little pruning shears and I'm going to make a hole. 
stick that piece down in here. Oh, and I already have thoroughly watered this plant too. So all the soil is already wet. So all I'm doing is pushing it down into already watered soil. And then I won't water her again. I want that root hormone to soak in. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to do the same root hormone, turn the plant. I think I'm going to stick another one right here because she's got a lot of room in the middle of this, all over this pot actually. Get that one down in there. And then I'm going to go on to the next one. And then I'll show you what I'm going to try with these long stems. I'm going to... I think I'm going to cut right above this node. Cut right there, and then that should start new growth. And then, see, this is the only stem that still had its tricolor to it, and it's weak. It is weak color. And it's my fault. There's a node, I'm going to cut right under it. And then I'm going, I hate to, but... I'm going to pull off these leaves because you want to give more energy up here. So I'm going to dip her in some more rooting hormone and make another hole. I think I'll make it right here. I <laughs> I sent Wanda a picture of this plant, and I said, because I was telling her about how lucky it was, and I had to crack up. She says, what did you do to that plant? And I was like, I don't know. It just got leggy. It was beautiful when it was outside. <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was pretty funny. And I do have to tell you guys while, while I'm doing this, um, I do want to tell you guys that how much I appreciate all of your guys' comments. I mean, you guys are all so nice, and I really appreciate that. I love sharing plants, and I love sharing my information, but you, you guys are really just... You're the best. I mean, you got you guys just always have very kind things to say, and it's so fun to talk to everybody. Okay, I'm gonna do this one right about right here, and then I'll make my cut about right here because I see a good node, and it looks like roots. I don't know, I don't know this much about, I'm out this plant, but I used to have, um, the purple one, the purple and silver one many, many years ago, back when I had, like, my first apartment, and I love that plant. Okay, I think I'm going to cut this one right here. And then I'll take that leaf off. Take that bottom one off. Dip it in my rooting hormone. Put some more back here. Oh. 
My fingers don't want to work. My lights just blinked. Did y'all see that? That was weird. I think I got a light bulb getting ready to go out here in my kitchen. Okay, now I'm going to take this one. That's the one I cut. It's kind of like the middle piece. Um, it's a mode right there. I'm going to cut that right like that. And stick this piece in right here. And I got like two more stalks to cut. But I think what I want to do too is I want to cut this top part off. <laughs> I don't know if I should or not. I wish you guys could talk to me while I'm doing that. That would be really cool. Well, I can finish. You guys get, you guys get the point with that. But I want to show you what I want to try with. Um, these stones. So I want to try cutting these and sticking them down in the sto soil, the soil, and see if they start growing. And doing anything for me so I'm gonna try that I'm gonna put the, that in this little container um, I need to go wet the soil down I forgot to do that hold on okay guys now for these stones I am going to Clean off some of those dried sheathing. And that there looks like a really good node. So I'm going to dip it in my rooting hormone. I'm going to make my hole. And just stick that down in there. Pack it down a little bit. Make another hole. And then that one I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put it down pretty low. So I'm going to leave all that on there. Stick that down. Pack it in. I hope this works. It should, because that looks like it's got really good notes on it. And then I'm going to cut that one there, because that's got two really good notes on it, and then this part up here. So I'm just going to cut that one there, and then cut that one down. To there I'm just gonna do do the same with these and make my hole I'm gonna dip that in Pack it down. Let's see, what do I got? Three more. I'm going to use this side on this one because it's got two nodes where it can root out really good. So we'll do that one that way. And it's got another node up top. And 
And I got one more left from those cuttings. I'm going to do that bottom node. Get that in there. And then I'll put some more in here um, when I need it. But what I want to do with this here other one is, oh look, coffee. <clears throat> I want to put some of these other ones that I'm going to cut, cut off in water. So... I'm going to go ahead and make my cut. Okay, now, like I was saying before I ran into a bunch of trouble with my camera, <laughs> as usual, is I want to try some of these in water. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make my seam cut all the way back here. And let that do its thing. I'm going to go ahead and cut both of these off. I'm going to do it right about there. And then I want to try... Now I have some extra long ones down here. But I think what I want to do is... I'm going to cut that right there because look, look at that node. It's already got roots coming out of it because these are actually, they crawl across the ground like a ground cover is what they do out in the wild. So I'm going to cut that one right there and then I'll peel that leaf off. I want to see... These are so crookedy. Crookedy? I think what I'm going to do is cut. I'm going to cut right here. I cut that off. And then take that leaf off. And that one. And this one's broken, so. I'm going to take that one off, too. It's still got four leaves, another one on the way, so I'm going to dip it in my rooting hormone. And then put it in water. I want to try to see if we can get it to root in water. I've never tried it in water, so. And then this one. This one is so curly. Um, I think what I might do is get all those leaves off. I think I'm going to put her in water too. Will she stay? Yeah. She'll stay. And there's already rooting hormone from that first piece that I put in there. So I'm not going to put no more in because you, you don't really need a whole lot of rooting hormone. And you don't even have to use rooting hormone. I mean, if you got it, great. If you don't, no biggie. But I like I like using it. My mom used, has used it for years. And she swears by it. So I, I got some and started using it. And I like it too. And I like the fact that it has... Um, bacterial and fungicide in it so that your plants won't like hopefully rot up okay now these are some really good roots like right here here and here if you can see them little nodes so I'm gonna put I'm gonna cut the tip of that off right above I'm going to put that one in here. Let's 
stick her down in there. Get all those nodes covered up. I see like this one I need to cut. That's too high. I need to cut that one. So you want just that node up there. And then we got... I'm going to cut this one like right there. Right above that leaf. Get rid of that leaf. And that one. And then... I'm going to stick her little crooked butt down in the water, too. And then do the same with this. That is a really good node right there with roots already on it. So I'm going to cut right there. Cut that off. And I'm going to stick her down in the water. Oh, that one came out of the water. There we go. Those things are so curly. Now, let's get these in the soil. I'm going to cut that excess off. That way you don't have insane rotting going on. And then, wow. Well, that one's kind of little. I guess I'll cut that off. That one's not going to be a good one because it was just too, too little, but I'll try it anyhow. There's still some nodes on there, so what the heck, why not try it, right? I'll stick it down in there like that. Oh, she stuck to my finger. And then I got one more. I'm going to put her down in here too. And then I'll probably cover her with some plastic. Um, that way it keeps her a little bit warmer and humid like a little greenhouse. And we'll see what it we'll see if those extra stems do anything. And then I also want to I think I'm gonna cut the top off of these. And then I'll stick them, probably just put them back in the plant. Because that's a node right there. You guys can see that. That's a node right there. So I'm just going to cut it right here. And then put her down in the soil in this pot. I need a stick. The stick is very helpful. There's a couple empty spots right here, so that'll be good. Make my hole. Stick her down in there. I already put a rooting hormone on. And then this one I will cut right here. Take that leaf off. And then that's a two nodes right there so I'll get her in there pretty deep and I'll do the same right here I'm gonna put it down there pretty pretty far because she had two really good nodes right there so That should work pretty good. Um, now we'll see what she starts doing. And hopefully she will look better. And I am going to get her in a brighter window. So we got that pot filled up. We got this little pot filled up with just like stem cuttings with nodes and then the ones in the water. And we'll see how they all do. 
Now, I want to show you um, my boat Lily because she is doing the exact same thing. Okay, here is my boat Lily. See how she is crazy leggy. She's doing the exact same thing and this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous plant, but she's getting really, really crazy and I need to fix her because she, she is just going nuts. So, I'm going to do the exact same thing to her and what are you guys looking at here? Okay. I'm going to do the exact same thing to her as I did my tricolor and try to get more in her pot and I have a bigger pot that I'll put some more in and I want to try her in water propagation too so um, I think what I'm going to do is go around and just cut her first and then um, we'll take care of all the cuttings so I'm just going to look at the back the purple backing on this plant this is a gorgeous plant and it grows like crazy I love it beautiful but it is getting very leggy and once again it's my fault because I did not put her I had her in highlight and then I moved her um and I shouldn't have moved her but I did so now I'm dealing with with those so I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna start cutting her where I think is a good you know place to cut and then we can get her fixed maybe hopefully like I said I'm going to try to um, put some back in her pot and then some in water and try a couple in water propagation This is a very, very gorgeous plant. I really, really like her. See, this one is... I got that one staked up. Because it's crazy. With the way that it grows. Uh, oh boy. Decisions, decisions. She's got new growth coming out right here. This is where I had made some previous cuts and gave people some cuttings and she is growing new growth out of there. Shit, I just broke that one. Dang it. So, you know what I might do is I think I'm going to cut all the way down to that point. I'm trying to get that dead sheathing off. I do not like leaving that. Because she should push back out more growth from that area. So I'm going to cut her right there. Oh god, I hate doing this. But I know it'll make the plant look better. And... It will give some, give her some new growth to push out from where I'm making cuts. So I think this one, I'm going to cut right there. And... 
I think that's it as we go here for now anyhow um let's take care of these cuttings now and I am going to these look like probably pretty good ones to put into water propagation I'm going to try to scoot her here, over here and then put my water vessel right here um I think I think I might try putting the fatter ones back in here a few because it's not all going to fit back in but I think what I'm going to do is put the skinnier ones in the water I'm going to cut that down to the node right here and just leave a few leaves on the top now I'm just going to dip in my rooting hormone once for water propagation and then I probably won't use anymore. Take these leaves off. Let's see where that node is. Okay, that's a nice node right there. So I'm just going to put that one in there. Take that leaf off. There's your node right there. So I'm going to cut right up to that node. That's plenty of leaves. Maybe too many. And then I'll take that off up to there. Cut down to that node. Stick it in water. And I'll do the same for this one. Cut up to that node, stick it in water, and then let's see, I got two pieces left. Let's see here. That would pro that would make two two sections. I'm going to cut let's see here I want to make my first cut right here under that node pull that leaf off I'm going to put that one in water and then this one there's the node and then I think what I'll do is I ain't cut right there because that's a node a new growth point might come out pull those leaves off and then I'll stick her down in the soil back into my pot and I think I'll put her right here. If I can get her in here. I'll tell you, these, these vines are massively huge on this plant as it gets older they get really thick kind of cool i like those big stems okay i am not used to sitting down doing stuff and th that is not gonna do nothing i mean it's only i'm just gonna pitch up and then 
This one, I think I will cut right here under that node. Get rid of that leaf. And then I'm going to put her in water too. It's a nice skinny one to put into the water. And then I'm going to cut down here to this node. And then she's got several nodes up and down here. So I am just going to, I don't like how that looks. I'm gonna cut it down to here. And I am gonna get some rooting hormone. Make my hole to put her down in. This plant was also thoroughly watered too, by the way. And then put her down in there. And this plant roots out really quickly. Because some of these back here that are in the back, I pulled off of her and stuck back here to fill my plant out. Now let's see what we got. I don't want to knock over my rooting hormone here. I don't know if I should cut any more off or not. I don't know. I think I might leave her... Oops, sorry guys. Jeez. I think I might leave her... Um, that hanging down and that on there. And later I might decide maybe I'll cut that off and stick it back down in the pot and maybe this one but I think once I get her back in brighter light she will straighten up because she she grew really great this summer I didn't have no issues out of her but all right so I guess that is it um, God, this, that's probably going to be a really long video. So we got our boat lilies cut and put back into the pot. And then I have some in water propagation. And then we have the Tridoscanthia tricolor. Uh-oh, that one fell out. Because I knocked it. to fix her. Get her back down in there. So we got that one all cut and fixed. And water propagation and then a little bit of the stem to see what they do. So we'll see what she does. I'm going to put her in brighter light and we'll hope for the best. I will keep you updated on the progress. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.